Okay, hello girls and boys. I hope you're doing good. Um, this is video number two and I am going to um, talk about this page. You should have already had this page completed and all the work shown. If you have not completed it, then you need to turn off this video and you need to go ahead and finish it because I'm about to put up all of the answers and I need you to be um, making sure that your assignment is done before you look at those answers. So pause the video or shut it off and come back when you're finished. Alrighty? So for all of you that have finished, I am going to show you all of the answers and I want you to, when I show them to you, I want you to pause the video and check and see how many you missed. So here they are. Here are all the answers. Go down carefully each column and see which ones that you got correct and see if you missed any. And then it, hopefully you got most of them right. If you did not, then really take the time to go back and see how I maybe reduce this nine with this 81, nine goes into nine once, nine goes into 81 nine times, and look and see what you, your, the mistake that you might have made. When you're all done with that, again, put it on pause, check all your answers, and then come back and put it out of 33. And then I'm going to have your parents maybe just snap a picture of that and send it to me. And we're going to use that as maybe one of the first daily grades. Now, we're going to be balancing the daily grades with several quizzes. There'll be more quizzes than daily grades. You need to do well on your daily work, so you will do well on the quizzes. That just makes sense. So. We're going to practice, practice, practice. Then we go into the World Series quizzes, and you should do very well. All right, so hopefully you got all those. Now, we're going to go ahead and turn to the next page. All right, here we go. So this is going to be sort of the same, and I'm going to call this 2A. Because I said assignment 43 last time, but it really makes sense now that we're doing the distance learning that I'm on video two, so we're gonna correlate it to the video two. So this is our 2A worksheet that we're gonna be completing during this video. So I'm just gonna show you a couple things on this one, and then most of this I think that you could do on your own. So this is gonna be a lot of practice today, hopefully less of me talking and more practice for you. So let's go ahead and look at this one. Even though it says do it mentally, we're going to cross that out, get used to how to reduce. So again, I'm going to put this over one, and I need to make this a little bit bigger, but I don't see where. Oh, I just clicked out of my little thing here. Hold on, I'm just getting used to some new software. And here is the zoom. Here it is. So I can zoom up a little bit. and make that a little bit bigger, which it did nothing. So I'll just do the best I can. Here we go. So anyway, 26 over one, and then two goes into that 26. So two goes into two ones, two goes into 26, 13 times. And again, remember we go straight across, so it should go sort of fast. 13 divided by one is 13. And how you do this puzzle is columns one and two are in the first row of answers, columns three and four are the second row of answers. You don't need to do the puzzle, but you do need to find your answer. That first answer we got was 13, so I'm going to cross it off. If you do want to do the puzzle, you're going to put the letter R for that um, answer. So let's do one more in that column. Let's go to the one that's available right here. So I'm going to put a 1 under the 33, and I see that 3 does go into 33. So we're going to go ahead and 3 goes into that once, 3 goes into that 11, and again, go straight across, 11 
times 2 is 22 divided by 1 is 22. So that's the letter A. So where I see the 22, I'm going to put the letter A if I'm doing the puzzle or just cross off the answer. Please cross off your answers as you go. So if you make a mistake, you can ask mom or dad or send me an email with a little uh, screenshot of the problem that you were doing and I'll be happy to email you back and see where the, the error was. But we don't want to do uh, 30 problems and find out at the end you did them all wrong. So please check them as you go. Then let's go over to this side. So this one says find, find one third of a yard, but they want the answer in inches. So we need to convert yards into inches. In fact, it gives you the little chart up here. So one yard is equal to 36 inches. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to let you do the work right here. So we don't need a new sheet of paper. We're just going to put the 36, put it over one. And does three go into 36? Sure it does. Three goes into that once, three goes into that 12. And then one times 12 is 12. So one third of a yard is 36 inches. And again, that answer is going to go on the second row. And you're going to put an R. If you want to do the puzzle, just cross off the 12 if you're not doing the puzzle. We'll do one more of those so you get an idea. Five, six of an hour. It's almost a whole hour. They want the answer in minutes. So we've got to convert the hours into minutes. Most of you know that there's 60 minutes in an hour. But if you didn't, it's right up here. One hour equals 60 minutes. So we're going to convert that hour into 60 minutes over 1. And then does 6 go into 60? Well, yes, it does. 6 goes into 6 once. 6 goes into 60 10 times. So let's multiply what's left. 5 times 10 is 50, which makes sense. 5, 6 is almost a whole. It's almost a whole hour. Not quite, but it's almost a whole hour of 50 minutes. And then find your answer cross it off if you're not doing the puzzle put the letter w if you are all right so you can do that you can handle that then flip it over to practice 11-1 which i'm calling 2b it's on video day two and it's our second worksheet so we're going to look at a couple of these same thing but on this one the numbers are getting a little bit larger so let's go to maybe the 17. Again, you may do it here, just do it very neatly because it takes a lot of time to rewrite these. So if you do it neatly, we can do it right here. So I'm gonna put a one under this and I see, oh, look at that. Eight goes into 72, 72 divided by eight. So again, one is on top, one is on bottom. I can go ahead and do that. Eight divided by eight is one, that slash means one. 72 divided by eight is nine. And what do I have left? Nine times five is 45 and 1 times 1 is 1 so 45 divided by 1 is 45 then let's go ahead and look at maybe 16 all of these I think are going to come out whole numbers so 14 well 14 it looks like there's about 3 and that kind of makes sense because 14 times 3 that ends with a 2 and that's going to be 3 4 it is going to be 42 so we can buy, divide both of those by four, 14 14 divided by 14 is 1. That divided by 14 is 3. So 3 times 3 is 9. And 1 times 1 is 1. So 9 divided by 1 is 1. In fact, let's go ahead and I want to make sure that I get those right because if I'm getting them wrong, I'm probably going to get a lot of them wrong. Let's make sure that we get them right right away. So there's a, where's my answer? Here's the 45. And the answer 9 is right here. Okay. So we want to make sure that we're getting 100% accuracy so you will be successful. Now, here's an interesting problem. And I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this. Actually, I'm going to use this space right here. I'm going to put 5, 6 times 84. Okay. Now, I can check and see if 6 goes into 84. So let me do that. So that would be 84 divided by 6. It ends up being 1. 
and it go it does go in perfectly. It goes in 14 times. So one way that you can do this is say, okay, I'm going to see if that goes in, and I'm going to divide by six, and it did come out. So six goes into six once. 84 goes into that 14 times. So then we'd have to multiply across, and I believe that comes to five times 10 is 50. Five times four is 20. 50 and 20 is, our final answer is 70. So five, six is, a, is almost a whole, so it's gonna be very close to 84, which that is. And I'm gonna leave it as that. All right, so that one is 70. So I've got one more answer to cross off, and I don't see it. Oh, yes, I do. And it is down there, so make sure that you cross that off. Okay. When you get to 22, it says explain. You do not need to explain. All I want you to do is find what one half of 32 is. Find what one fourth of 32 is. And find the rest of the patterns that they're talking about. You just have to solve those problems. On reasoning, it says if one half of one is a half, what's one half of two? Then what's one half of three? Think of money, what's one half of three dollars? And then one half of four. Put those three answers, separate them by a comma, and I believe those are also in the answer bank. So that's gonna be your second job. Then, we're gonna go over to the toss and talk. And this is very simple. So we'll do number six. So this one here, put a one under it. So the denominator does go into the numerator. So five goes into five ones. Five goes into 80, 16 times. Start uh, memorizing that. Then we multiply with, what is left, so 16 times four is 64. So you can do those right there also and find your mixed up answer. And that comes from problem six. Here's another 64, so we'll cross that one off also. And it comes from problem number six. So these answers are all unique, but some of them have doubles. So this is an easy page. Then the last page, and you will stop right here, and I'm calling this 2D. Video two, it's our fourth um, little puzzle, but again, there's, there's not very many. It's gonna be very easy. So on this one, let's just review real quick what you need to do here. So let's look at the number seven. So I'm gonna put a one under that. So nine doesn't go into seven or five, and five or seven doesn't go into nine. So this is one where you just need to multiply it straight across. Seven times five is 35, nine times one is nine. Now this is an improper. We saw this before spring break, but let's review it real quick. So this is like maybe I have a size nine container of eggs. Nine eggs per every carton. How many cartons can I fill? Nine times two is 18, oh, I've got more eggs. Nine times three is 27. Hmm, we're getting close. Nine times four is 36. I don't have 36. So it's not gonna be four cartons. The most is gonna be three. And again, the leftovers go in an empty size nine carton. So let's see how many eggs we've used. Three times nine is 27. And let's see how many eggs are left. 35 that we had minus the 27 to fill those three cartons. And it looks like that it is eight. So I hope you recall us doing that several times. If you're not doing the puzzle, you're just gonna cross that off and you're done. We found it. If you are doing the puzzle, that was problem number seven. So where you see the seven here, you're gonna put the letter T. So we're gonna put the letter T right here. Oh, and I see that there's some things in this. Okay, I'm sorry, that was in your way. Okay, so let's maybe see if we could do one more. So here's another one. Um, we can actually reduce this, or we could reduce it later. Let's, let's just go straight across. Eight times two is 16. 10 times one is 10. This is a carton of size 10. I've got 16 eggs, it's overflowing. How many cartons can I fill up? 16 divided by 10, you are right if you said one. And all the leftovers we're gonna put in a size 10 carton. So we've used one filled carton times 10 is 10. How many eggs are left? 
is 6. Well, but look at this. Can this be slimmed down? Yeah, we can reduce that and put it in simplest terms. by cutting. They're both even numbers by cutting it in half. So that's 1 divided by 2 is 3 divided by 2 on the 10 is 5. And I forgot to put this answer, so let's put that right there. Okay. So 1 and 3 fifths. Let's make sure that it's there at the bottom. And it is. So cross that out. But if you're doing the puzzle, that's problem number 8. So you would put the letter U. All right. So this is your job. Your job is to do C51, the first puzzle, which was the Cirilla. This is C51. It is right here. C51. The second one is to do the practice 11-1, which is this one. Then you're going to go to CA 11-1. That stands for the center activity. Whoops. Center activity 11-1. And you're going to be doing the riddle 32. So that's the riddle 32. And, oh my gosh, who is that? Krabby Crab. Go away. All right, just remember, remember who you saw, because that will be a quiz question on your next quiz or test to make sure that you are watching the videos. But with that, I will end it here, and that will give you Thursday, Friday, and you should be done with those four worksheets, and we'll go over a new topic on Monday. You have a great weekend. Thank you.